Kukumu, dear mourners and Okore Adiyu and my Binu Bora. My name is Okori Adiyu. You are my visitors. Tuan Gwok. A male dog. When a male dog is about to face death, it loses the sense of smell. It cannot smell even death. Lua Kukumu. A one president, prime minister, or don't take her a part, but a magnitude long territory. All the visitors, mourners, vice president, prime minister, and all the leaders, particularly cultural leaders, and all of you in your various capacities. I thank you most sincerely. Olanya was not just my son. He was a son to the whole country. Government uh, may Uganda and permit tobacco doga and to Lanya take a jaw a mine conyo doom to try. I don't want to have to plead a lot with the government of Uganda, but I want the government to know that Olanya has been taking care of very many people who depended on him. <laughs> I thought the head of state would be here in person. I believe other duties have not allowed him to be here in person. Now, now you who has come to represent him, Take my message clearly to the head of state. Olanya started a lot of initiatives back home here. All of them are incomplete. The, gov the government of Uganda has started completing the house he started. Jacob <laughs> Lanya. Hmm? Yeah. The government of Uganda should The government of Uganda should complete the house that Olanya started. We, 
we expect the government to complete that house so that it is put to work and the income that will come from that house should take care of Jacob's family, including his grandchildren. <laughs> The children you see in front of you are all children of school going age. Now they have nobody to support them. They are on their own. I appeal to the government not to abandon them but to take care of them. The government should help them to complete their studies to the highest level possible in line with the dream of their father, in line with my own dream as their grandfather, so that these same children and grandchildren can help the nation. Jacob, Jacob, who is no longer with us, uh, Government and my Uganda, Kwanyandong, Kerbodge, and your chick, T Master Digby. Jacob had a law firm, and he had invited his sister, Harriet Okori, who is a lawyer with a master's degree, to work with him. Since Jacob's death, that law firm is closed. I appeal to the government to take care of Harriet Okori, Jacob's sister, because she's qualified. She is a lawyer with a master's degree. She should be deployed appropriately. I don't care to hear my bit, I magin kwana a chel pur doya doya ma kerere. Gen no en Jacob ya no choluge. Don mier kwange government me warn him we could be the thing on a congit you can have one pian dano kao kwano new pain new word kao wero geata of doku lay that same sister of jacob adong like other sisters and brothers also have children all of these need education. Jacob's focus was on education. Because when a person is educated, they can add value to society. They need support. Oh, minere mona tikere tino enu kwano enu kene puti ya kwano maslagi oh itino kene but ko dagatidi. Put peyoti ko kwani achel put doy makere re enu kere ni tipping gen duja mito kwan a wari kinga men mir kwan. Jacob's brother Francis Joy Lemona also has children. They all depended on Jacob. I appeal to the government to intervene and support them also. Prime Minister Yini Binu, Unikere Wang, President, Kopama Kelly Nimuno, Nena Chalogin Pirate. The Prime Minister and Your Excellency, the Vice President, I appeal to you to consider these matters of table before you seriously. Chipeka Yini Leo Kong. And Jacob Rigdong Papa, he Papa. 
Madam Speaker, you are now the speaker occupying the chair Jacob occupied. Jacob was like a father to us. You have now to take that position and play that role of a parent. And particularly to Muse Okori. Madam Speaker, that is Muse Okori's request to you to be a parent and do what Jacob used to do for him. Tiga Moi and King Amat on the Woro Wareki and I could name Jamia Rajo at Tipaja Binuko Bori, a Til Dong Bori, and then on Mogiti to you. Konya, Your Lordship, the Chief Justice, before my son Jacob went for treatment. And since I told you I would tell you some things in confidence, some of the things that you are supposed to do, which you promised to do, you have done. I need your help because my son Jacob left me in your hands. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice. Akobu man. Jahumara Winu, Rede or Kunucho Jemmy, Narabuk Bang, a Jacob Uchoro worker, Dongin, Nachalo won cake, Yen Yuo Meloro, Jemma Jacob Pati Bang, Konya, where Konya deal. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice, I have learned that a certain lady is meddling with Jacob's estate, tampering and hiding documents. You are the one in charge of laws in Uganda. I want you to safeguard Jacob's estate from meddlers. And per akora, Jacob Pumio. Yad Ama and Ubiuker Borakan, Woto Yang Yeo Babalko, Pikanyo Yatia, a water dung terror or chat, a tin dung gor, a cocky recum not to me yet. I am not mourning in vain. I want to state clearly, Jacob was poisoned. He told me, and he was operated. Doctors attempted to deal with the poison. The poison affected his health so badly, by the time he was flown out for treatment, he was not in a position to recover. He was too weak. Mano in the Boru Unu Kumundu Chueno Atinuto Amwaka Mere Mekonyu Lak Potie. Don't worry, Apu. You, the mourners. Please receive this information from me in good faith. My son has died. He is now gone. We will never see him again. Thank you.